Saudi Cup Neck Muay Nation, Conrado Furlan talking with you guys over here from Malaysia. I'm going to talk about my story today, a little bit of it. Uh, before that, subscribe to the link below, press the bell button and get all the notifications that you need. I'll be posting every Sunday, okay? Every Sunday I'll have a new video. I started Muay Thai when I was 17 years old. Um, I was always a very active kid. I'd gone through judo, boxing, uh, swimming, you know, futsal, volley, basketball. I did all of those stuff. And, uh, well, I only became an athlete inside Muay Thai. And uh, I trained Muay Thai in three years in Brazil. and. During this time, I felt like I wanted to to learn more. I, I wanted to get better, right? And uh, that's when I left to Thailand in 2011, 2012, I think. It's been a long time, man. And uh, yeah, I I left to Khor Nom Santong. That's the, the gym I went to first. There was a lot of Brazilians, uh, some, some good... Brazilian names that passed there for training and I wanted to go there too so when I got there there was Brazilians in there and uh, we were training for about two three months and this place was hard training yeah it was really good and after three months we had to leave because unfortunately the gym closed down it was a financial problem there so we went down to Samui Ko Samui in uh, Thailand, where uh, we we trained at WMC Lamai. So WMC Lamai was my home in Thailand for about one and a half years, and then, well, I I had a motorbike accident, so I couldn't train and I couldn't fight for a while, and that's when a friend of mine, uh, a friend that I met in WMC, called me to come down to. Malaysia to Dragon Muay Thai. So Dragon Muay Thai was my home in Malaysia and uh, for three years I was under uh, Salatan Muay Thai uh, instructions, you know, he was my teacher, still a great friend to me to this day and uh, together we managed to get to uh, an intercontinental, uh, intercontinental belt and uh, two world championships belt. So he was very successful. I am grateful for all the work Salatan done for, with me. And uh, after three years, uh, I, I started to teach a little bit while I was competing at the same time. And uh, this, this kind of like grew on me slowly, you know. And uh, I, I left Dragon. Uh, we're still friends to this day, but... Uh, Nowadays, I'm at, with Monarchy MMA. It's been great five years. Uh, I learned a lot while I was in there. And now I'm focusing more on coaching, really. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't competed in like a year and a half now. And uh, I feel my heart says fight and my brain says teach. So I'm trying to conceal both of them now. But that's what I'm doing. And I, I'm, I'm making these videos for you guys because I want you guys to know that I'll be posting things that I see, things that I'm learning, things that I've been applying to my athletes. And, uh, and uh, I see that it's lacking or sometimes people might not know it's necessary. I want to talk about laws of training and why people usually get hurt or why do they plateau at some level it's because we're missing some laws and we're missing some principles of training and all of that gets into conditioning i know technique is important maybe is everything when it comes down to winning a fight you know it, it, the strategy is everything but if your conditioning is not there if you're hurt your technique won't work. You, you're going to struggle to do your technique. So the way I see it, a healthy body 
a strong athlete is better than a broken technical fighter. That's how I always thought, even though I was that broken technical fighter, okay? So I learned with my mistakes and I've been learning to help out people not to make their mistake, those mistakes. So don't forget, press that bell button and get notifications for next Sunday, all right? That's it, everyone. So, Wadi Cup, thank you for the support. See you guys soon.